Cox in the red, win in the blue. 97 kilo semifinal challenge tournament, here we go. Jaden Cox looking good so far today. Wins over Jack Jensen and Wynn Mahalik. Mahalik, the number one seed. He was second in the US Open to Jake Varner. Yeah. Shot from the outside by Wynn. Nice reshot there from Cox. Cox, and he's back up on his feet in the underhooks. You'd think he'd be in solid position there, but when so tight and compact, having hooks on him has to be pretty hard. Oh, and Wynn's going to try to run through a double leg here. He stands behind, and he's going to score a two-point takedown. And a turn out of bounds. It'll be 4-0 Duran Wynn. Big points there getting out ahead of Cox early. Yep. Does that force uh, Cox to open up a little bit more, though, and take more risk? That's that a could good play question. into Wynn's favor. Oh, good fake. Now he's got he's got Jaden Cox off balance a little bit. Yeah, you see Cox, he chilled out on the knee there for a little bit. Yeah. Oh. oh, Cox goes to drag. He's gonna get one on the push out. That might be a flea in the hold call as well. That is caution and a point. Caution so against Wynn, point for Cox. Wynn ran straight out of bounds. That's the theory so behind no, that. So no push out, just the caution and one. Yeah, caution and one. Cox had him out of position. This thing far from over. Halfway through the first, four to one though. Duran Wynn leads Jaden Cox. Cox goes one way or the other, and that's the thing. Cox will set a high, uh-oh. It looks like he might have pulled a muscle there. Looks like a finger. Is it a finger or his ribs? It looks like he's holding his hand. I think it's a finger or a hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sammy grabbed his fingers there. Probably broke a finger, dislocated the finger real quick. I mean, yeah, I bet it's dislocated. It looks like he's trying to put it back in place. You see Sammy Henson peeking in the left side of the screen. Brian Smith right next to him. Sammy, of course, been the assistant at Missouri for the last few years, taking the head job at West Virginia. So we'll look for them to be on the rise. Mountaineers? Mountaineers. West Virginia Mountaineers. And I got a feeling it doesn't matter how much pain Jaden Cox is in. If it's a finger. Oh, they're going to tape that baby up. They're going to tape it up and he's going to scrap. Yeah, they're pulling out the tape right now, so they'll get Sammy that going. Sammy whispering sweet nothings in his ear. <laughs> get him to believe he's a man. There you see the Paulson twins in uh, Duran Wynn's corner. Like I, like I said, it. trains out the Cyclone Wrestling Club at Iowa State. Yep. So they... Grab Jaden's hand, they tape up, I think the fingers, tape them together just to isolate that a little bit. Or not isolate them, put them together. Pair them up, how many, two, three fingers together probably. Try to stabilize it, that's the word I was looking for, not isolate. So the winner of this one faces the winner of Kilgore and Byers. And then we have Bergman and Mahalik waiting on the backside for the losers of the semifinals. Now we're back to it here. Cox and Wynn. Cox got that left hand taped up. Nope. Uh, yeah, yeah he's got it taped on his left up. Hand. And he's sort of picking up his motion here as Cox. He's working on the head and tapping at that single leg quite a bit. There he goes. He gets back to it. No, he got to it. Second attempt, third attempt. Yeah, you're going to see a passivity here on Duran. I was going to say. I, 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 Looks like he got hit in the eye. And Cox 
No bueno. How about the reach on him, though? I mean, he had – he was reaching, hitting both the single and the high C at the same time. Back to the action, 40 seconds to go in the first. And you're gonna see Cox continue to wrestle this way. He's gonna be aggressive, he's gonna be coming forward. Yeah, and when, when Wynn starts to pick up the motion too, man, we're gonna see something happen for sure. Fire Cox fires off a shot, can't quite keep a hold of that leg. Yeah, he's extended now, Wynn in the front headlock position. Duran circles around behind. Uh-oh, Duran's gonna score another takedown, make it six to one. So Cox kind of, more aggressive with the pace and all that, but Jerron Wynn picking his spots, choosing him wisely. Yeah, and uh, Cox. In all kinds of pain. Maybe he hit his head there? Or is it his finger again? No, it looks like his, his face. It looks like he has a cut on his face. Actually, there's blood on the mat right there. That's not what Tough first period for Jaden Cox. Yep. Yes, it is. Curious to see what adjustments he makes because when hasn't really, you know, he had the one double leg and then the, the go behind, but curious to see how Cox counters that speed. I think what he needs to do is Stay aggressive, come up those fakes. He'll shoot one leg, the other, like you said, without even moving back. Those arms are so long. And if he can keep that up, he'll either eventually score with it or at least get Wynn put on the shot clock. But with the five-point lead. Well, I think these breaks are actually helping Wynn and hurting Cox's strategy. I, I think so, and I think you saw Sammy Henson come out. Um, almost looked a little frustrated that this happened. Not that it's anybody's fault, but... Yeah, because Cox like, was, oh, he was coming. He was, I mean, he was going all That's out. That's one of his things. He's got a really big gas tank. and um, Yeah, so with the, with these long breaks, that'll be break. neutralized until maybe the very end of the, of the second period. Because he's got a 30-second break coming up in, in seven yep. seconds of action. So they put the pre-wrap on and now they're taping that thing up. Purple tape, maroon tape. He's cleaned up, and they're going to clean the mat, and then they're going to get back at it. All right. Let's do it. Seven seconds to go in the first. Duran Wynn leads Jaden Cox six to one. And that'll do it. Period comes to a close. 
They'll go to their respective corners. Paulson's in one corner, Smith and Henson in the other, coach wise. Yeah. So Ooh, they over the collar with the jacket. I don't know that I've seen the jacket technique. That's maximum velocity and air, air flow right there. <laughs> it's a wide jacket. There you go. All right. About to get this second period underway. They're going to clean up one more little drop of blood. All right, here we go. Now we're going to get it going. And they want to talk Jaden Cox off. I tell you, one thing about Jaden is that kid sweats like no other. As the second period goes on, he's going to start to get real slippery. And Duran coming out. Throwing some stutter steps, tapping on the head. Looks like he wants to get offensive here in the second. Yeah, good motion by Wynn early on in the first 10 seconds. Look for Cox to do the same thing, I think. Fake a little bit. Yeah, Duran with the hook now. He circles out of it. Cox reshot. Cox and they're all over the mat. Cox pushing him around a little bit. And this is the match he wants, the type of match he wants. A lot of motion, a lot of movement, and then we still have zero passives, correct? I do believe that's correct. And there we have passivity Passive on Duran Wynn. Blue. blue passive. And Cox back on the head, working underhook, snapping on the head. Hitting the single leg. And, and Henson wants active. another one. Passive call, that is. Oh, Pancake City. Doesn't really pancake him, but he throws him by. Yeah, he so throws that hook by. Aggressive, Bronwyn, aggressive. Another two. Aggressive. For Jaden Cox and Duran Wynn stops it. Wynn almost takes him through on the gut wrench. Unable to convert. So Cox down by seven now. 138 to go. Duran Wynn staying calm in that position. Just letting the action come to him, and he threw the hook right by. You know, that's some savviness by Duran Wynn in that spot. Yeah, he's up by seven. You're right. He's, he's kind of rolling here. Cox has got his work cut out for him if he wants to come back and, and get this thing going. Oh, and again, the exact same, same thing. thing. He comes up, right hand's a little bit high. Wynn just throws it right by, and he's up nine points. Ten to one with a minute to go. One point away from a tech fall over the NCAA champion, Jaden Cox. And Sammy said it. He said, you can't keep your arm up when you shoot that single leg. It's the exact same way he got taken down in, uh, I think it was overtime at the scuffle by Kyvin Gadsden. Threw him by off of Jaden's shot. And now he goes high C, switches to the other side. He just can't get through the, the, the hand defense there of Wynn. He's, just, he's hitting the leg, but he's not getting deep on his shot. Cox continuing to work the score, but having a tough time getting in on the stout, strong, and powerful Duran Wynn. And time ticking down, and Duran Wynn, impressive match right here. Looks like he's going to take this one. He's up by nine at this point, five yeah. seconds left. That's going to be it. Wow, look at that. So Duran Wynn will give up one point at the very end. That's not going to do much to change things, though. Ten to two is your score. And that's it. This one comes to a close. Your final score, ten to two. Duran Wynn moves to the mini tournament finals. He'll face the winner of uh, Byers and Kilgore.